welcome to the Jennifer Hudson Show. I like to call it the happy place. Oh, I feel y'all joy. Thank you. Have a seat. Come on into the room. Oh, goodness. Let's see what's on my agenda today. I got to do a lot of fun things not too long ago. Well, my friend Walter, y'all know my buddy Walter Williams. You know, we work a lot. But we have to celebrate too, so we got to go to Cabo for his birthday, which was a lot of fun. Oh, Wally Bean is what I like to call him. That's his birthday cake. He like fancy things. He like the kind that I don't really care for. He like fruit and all that stuff in his cake. But it's his birthday and it's about what he wants. And another thing we got to do, we got to feed camels. And my friend wanted me to feed the camel from my mouth. Mm. Did you, have you ever seen a camel's mouth? You know what else my friend love to do? He love to book doctor's appointments. He need to book that camel a dental appointment. <laughs> to the dentist, but I'm glad he talked, there go Walter with the camel right there. I'm glad he talked me into doing it because it was such a cute experience. It tickled my heart to hang out with the camel, which was really cute. And I only did it for my friend because it was his birthday. Another thing I got to do was ride the camel. Has anybody ever ridden a camel before? Yeah? It was so comfortable. Like, I felt like I was on a moving couch or something. That's what it felt like to me. I really enjoyed that experience. Look at that. And then we got to ride on the sand with the camels. So I thought it was a great experience. Now, I'm more so used to bike riding. I love, to this day, I know it's like a thing you do when you are a kid, ride a bike, but it's something you could do through your whole life is ride a bike. So that's what I'm more used to riding a bike than riding a camel, okay? Listen, see, I get out there and I get on a good foot and I get the riding. Yes. Yes. Um, and I'm the youngest of the family, like Julia, Jason, and I'm Jennifer. But out of all three of us, I was the first to really get the hang of learning how to ride a bike. So, you know, if you need a bike coach, you may want to call me, okay? <laughs> Listen, I could teach you a thing. I love a bike so much, I rode it in a gown. Mm -hmm. Once Jenny got it, I was gone, okay? Which is why I love bike riding so much because it's something you, I think you should do as a kid. It's a part of growing up. I don't even remember the time, a time when my kid didn't know how to ride a bike. So we have our little ventures and it's something you can do with your kids, you know what I mean? Ride a bike and it's something you could do through life. And another good thing about it is something you could do to find your inner peace. I feel like I'm soaring like, on a, like a bird when I'm bike riding, but I gotta have my good music. I even create playlists so I can ride my bike and listen. Not too long ago, you know what I did? Try this. Try riding your bike in the summertime, listen to holiday music. Y'all, it is so relaxing. Look, you think I'm crazy. I went on the beach and I listened to holiday music and I was bike riding and it brought me so much joy and so much peace. I would have never thought about, cause to me, I relate bike riding to the summer. And then the holidays, I'm from Chicago to the winter, so I would have never thought about putting them together, but I did it. Try it. You're going to like it. I promise. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I'm going to have a little fun today because I'm going to teach one of my audience members how to ride a bike at 44 years old. I'm not going to say, because you're never too old to ride a bike. You know what I mean? And I really think all it takes is a little encouragement, you know, to ride a bike. And you get out there and ride it your way, you have fun and live your best life. You know what I mean? And it's, it's never too late to learn how to ride a bike, and it's never too young to learn how to spell. Check this clip out of this young lady learning how to spell. Fun again. T R A V. Is this V? Uh huh. E R S E. What does that spell? Car. <laughs> She said what she said. Okay. See, it's all about confidence. She was very sure. Car. And that is that. You know what else I'm confident about? I am so confident about my first guest. Rob Lowe is here in the building. Okay. Make sure y'all stick around and check him out. I'm going to teach y'all quite a few things. But what I want you to have the most is some confidence. Go grab your snacks. 
Be ready to have a good time. We'll be right back. Our first guest has been entertaining us for over 45 years now. Please welcome the always youthful Rob Just, you turned 60. I turned 60. You look 30. <laughs> you're very, you're very kind. Thank you. I had a great birthday. I felt, I, did, I think 60's cool. I was, I thought 50 was cool. I think 60 was cool. I want to just keep it going. Ah, uh, so if you could pick one, if, if you could pick, like, which one would you go with? 50, 60? I, I got to tell you, I, I've never felt better. I've never... I, I feel like I'm at the peak of everything, whether it's you know relationships mm. or physical, mental, family, friends, career. I, I, I'm having the best time of my life. That's for good sure. living. For sure, and I'm really grateful. Yes, really like gratitude is a huge part of it, right? Oh, gra gratitude and curiosity. Ah. People always say like, why do you look? You know what it is? Is when you think about kids, yes. what is the number one trait they all have? They're all super curious. Wow. Do you remember kids who are like, Mommy, what about this? Daddy, what are like, The yeah. questions that never ended? Uh -huh. Curiosity. So that keeps you youthful. Yes, being curious, interested in other people, not closed in your ways, wanting to learn. To me, the spirit of that is, is the most youthful thing you can have. Okay, I'm going to write that down because I yeah. want to look as youthful as you when I turn 60. Now, I don't know about this, Rob, because you know, now, Rob, I don't like being cold, okay? They I love were talking about this backstage, that you are not down at all with, like, cold plunges mm -hmm. and the things that people do to stay younger. No cold wow. plunges? No. You, is this ice and cold? What, look, what is the story behind this? Not only is it cold, there's actually, look at the ice. I see it. Uh, and look, you gotta breathe, because you oh. feel like your heart's gonna stop. I'm on my way from here to, to, to go do that again. How often do you do it? Um, if it's available and it's convenient, I will do it w once a day, for sure. A day? Yeah, it's, it's the best. It releases <laughs> a, a, some sort of, who knows? I'm not a scientist. It releases some sort of who, who knows thing that when your body is shocked into cold and it, it elevates your mood, it constricts your blood vessels. I, I couldn't, I could, I love it. I absolutely it's okay, well, that hard. part I'm gonna leave to you, Rob. All yeah. right, because just hearing about it, whoo, yeah, it's, Jesus. It's, <laughs> it's cold. I mean, the only thing I wanna say is you, you gotta make sure when you're coming out of the cold plunge that there's nobody there to look at you as a guy, if you know <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, Rob. <laughs> Not your best moment. Okay, you can teach me about this. Rob, you've been married for 33 years. That is mm -hmm. amazing. You're 33. Okay. Congratulations. My wife is my wife is a saint. Yes. The woman is a saint. <laughs> Cheryl Lowe. She's the best. Wow. What do you remember? See, that that's how you get to 33 years. You that's, said your wife that's is all, the that's best. That's wedding day. What do you remember from your wedding day? I remember our first dance. We had, without a doubt, the the, the our, I remember our first um, our first dance was the theme to Out of Africa, one of the most romantic songs oh. in the world. Wow. Um, and it was, we didn't want anybody to know about it. Mm -hmm. We didn't want it to be in the papers. So we had it at a friend's house and told people they were coming to a daytime luncheon with a wedding theme. So when they walked in and saw the altar and they didn't go, what the hell? And then we walked down the aisle and everybody was like, oh my God, they're getting married. Like, you surprised your guests. Yeah, I had no idea. Okay. And we kept the guest list really, really small. It was great. I loved it. And clearly, you've been married small, 33 years. Easy, not a lot of stress. And uh -uh. We may have to do that, guys. That's a good idea. It's a really good idea. Keep it low, and Keep then you'll be married this long. I like that. And then you're an empty nester now. Oh. So I have that to look forward to because my son is 15. He'll be 18 in a few years. So I'm like, ooh, I'm going to be an empty nester soon. So what is the best part about being an empty nester? Well, I was... Becoming one was actually super emotional for me, and I actually wrote about it in my oh. second book. And I was so sad. And then once they they were out of the house, I was I looked at my wife and went, "Wait a minute, I remember you. <laughs> <laughs> you're 
hot. Oh! <laughs> and we have fun together. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I could wake up in the middle of the night and go get a midnight snack without any clothes on again. <laughs> OK. And it was very freeing. And, and it really remind. I, I love I love being an empty nester now. Mm. I was sad when they left, and I thought this was the end of that relationship yeah. with your kids. It's not. It's just the beginning of a new chapter. Okay. Now, how long does that phase last, though, Rob? Please. There's my guys. These are your sons. Those are my sons. Wow. Right. Look at those boys. Yeah. Oh my they fully grown, huh? Little boys. Yeah. One is uh, is thirty, and the other's. Turning 20. No, but Matthew's turning 31 this weekend, and then my other is going to be 29 uh, in November. That is amazing. Okay, now you've been acting for 45 years, but do you remember what your first job was? What was that? Oh, yeah, my first paying job. Mm -hmm. I was a paper boy for the Dayton Daily News. Mm. How cute is this? Now, I was really good at. Those were in the days where you could fold the papers up and toss them, and I was, I love that. I hit the door perfectly and have it bounce just exactly <laughs> right. Like, I was super into that, but I was terrible at going and collecting the money. I was mm. so bad. And oh. I was in a neighborhood where they, like, sometimes didn't pay, well, oftentimes didn't pay me. And my dad got so mad, he was a lawyer, that he and I went to small claims court and sued, like, half the neighbors. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was oh, amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. Did you win? We won, and they just still didn't pay. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, y'all owe Rob some money. Give him his check. Come on, or I will send my dad <laughs> after you. <laughs> we want more time with you. Oh, my goodness. We'll be back with Rob Lowe. Wow, we're back with Rob Lowe. The floor is amazing. Can you tell everyone what it's about? Yes, yeah, so it's, uh, there are 100 spaces on the floor, 100 contestants. Every one of them has their own expertise in trivia. So mm. it could be anything from you know, European history to the Kardashians, from the periodic table to 80s hair bands. It can be literally anything. You battle, winner continues, goes back and gets more pieces of the floor. By the end of 10 weeks, whoever has the most floor wins the money. It is highly addicting. Mm, all right. Now, Rob, I gotta ask you, do you think you could win the floor? Hell no. <laughs> I, I, it, it's like my knowledge in trivia, in, in, in my very narrow lane, which would be yacht rock, okay. I, I, okay. I would be unbeatable in history. I'd be good in history. But anything with chemistry, yeah. uh, math, mm. uh, geometry, uh, I, would, I would not do well. Do you got music in there? Oh, uh, lots of music. Okay, maybe I We have everything in there. It was 100 categories. Oh, my goodness. 100. Ooh. Major okay. League, like sports logos. It's really fun, super addicting. Wow, Look, you're addicting because you've been around quite some time and you've done a lot of things. I want to be like you and be able to have like several jobs and many seasons of things because 911, Lone Star, fifth season, and it's the season. final, season. final like, season. Like, what is the catch? And then what can we expect? Well, it, you know, it's our final season, so we knew we wanted to give the fans a proper goodbye to all these characters that everybody has fallen in love with over the years. And so we, we knew we, we had the time to write the scripts in a way that would honor that. There will never be another show like this. Mm. That what we did right. every week, the level of, of sort of adventure, mm -hmm. um, the spectacle of it, um, I don't think you're gonna ever see anything like it ag again on network television, and it is, been amazing to be uh, a producer and to be a part of it. Wow. <laughs> Woo. I have to ask you, do you think you could put out a real fire? You know, I have played doctors. Mm -hmm. I have played lawyers. I have played firemen. I have played policemen. So that means in almost any situation that comes up, I could almost help. <laughs> He set that up real good, didn't he? I could come very close to putting out a real fire <laughs> ah. until I would turn it over to the experts. Okay, okay. Well, you are the expert, and we are so grateful to have you here. Thank Will you me. come back again and see us? Yes. All right. right. The final season of 911 Lone Star premieres tonight at 8 on Fox, and the floor premieres this Wednesday at 9 on Fox. We'll be right back. 
Y'all know I love sharing some incredible voices with you. So when I saw this video online, I knew I wanted to meet her. Take a look. <laughs> Can sing. Oh my goodness. How old are you? I'm 19. You're 19. Yes, ma'am. Right? Where was this video taken? Well, okay, so I go to a conservatory. Um, it's called Norwalk Conservatory of the Arts. Um, go trees. Go trees. Um, <laughs> and we were just doing like a little school event, um, like a little game night, and they were like, somebody needs to sing the national anthem. So then they pulled up an instrumental track off YouTube, and I just started blowing. When did you realize you had this gift? Um, well, I've been singing since I was three. My grandma's a pastor. Uh -huh. um, and she's always told me that this is a gift that I've been given. Mm -hmm. um, and I should use it to spread the word of God. So wow. that's what I continue to do. I totally understand that. What was your first solo in church? Do you know? Um, this little light of mine. All right. Yeah. Did you feel that just from that? <laughs> this little light of mine. Yeah, that was my song right there. I can tell you sing from a, a special place. Yes, ma'am. What's your favorite part about performing? Um, I'd want to say people have always told me that when they hear me sing, mm -hmm. I change their lives. And that's mm. something that I want to do. Um, and you've done that for me. Aw, thank um, you. Yes, ma'am. Aw. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. What are your hopes for the future? Um, I want to create a legacy that will last forever, mm. um, such as yourself and mm. Whitney Houston. Like, even though she is gone, she still holds a place in people's yeah. hearts. You Definitely know? mine, yes. Yeah, so that's, that's what I want Something to timeless. Yeah. Yes. Tell us about your mom and how she inspired you. <sighs> that's, that's my heart. Yeah. Um, that woman has, hasn't stopped working since the age of 19. Mm. Um, she's sacrificed, she's literally sacrificed so much um, mm -hmm. for me to be where I am, and I just wanna be able to give her her flowers that she deserves. I love that. <laughs> Ooh, okay, as a mom that hits close to home, I understand that. Yeah. So, I know for me, when I first got Dream Girls, the first person I called was my mama. My mama. Okay, so when you got the call to come here, you called your mom first? Oh, yes, I did. Well, I said, <laughs> you called mama first? I called mama first. I was like, mama, Jennifer Husson. <laughs> she said, I knew it. She, ah! she, she was like- Did she speak it? Oh, she's been speaking it. She was like, this is something that she has been wanting me to have. And she said that I deserve something like this for to happen in my life because I've just wanted it for so long and it's the things are happening yes. you know so yes. I'm really grateful for her oh my goodness that is so beautiful <laughs> Ooh, child. well you know your mom wanted to be here so she sent you a video no she didn't yes she did hi Zayla it's me mom I wish I could be there with you we are so proud of you and please give Jennifer Hudson a hug for me How does that make you feel? Like words can't even express because that's the, that's the woman that had me, you know, and it's just words can't even express. Like her and my little sister, London, she wanted me to say her name on here. Oh, uh, oh you got a little sister, London. Oh yeah, my little sister, oh she, oh, she is something else. She's gonna be a lawyer one day. All right, y'all oh. better speak it and she's No, lives. she already said she's gonna be, she going to Harvard, she's gonna be a, uh, she, oh, she's a debater. I love that. She's a debater. Now, if wow. that video touched you like that to see your mom make a video for you, <laughs> how would you feel if she just came right on out? Stop. Come on out, mom. Shanda, come on out.
said you had a doctor's appointment. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to keep it a surprise. Oh my god. I know. I'm, I'm That's always... why you ain't been face to answer my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's been so hard to keep it from her. Wow. So hard. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you here. This is what these moments is about. Oh to be able to oh create memories, y'all. Mm. Special moments. What does it mean to you to be here today, Mom? It means everything. Just to watch her grow mm -hmm. to the woman that she's becoming and being able to witness, witness it all. And I just love, love the passion that she has for singing. Wow. It just touches me every moment that she steps on the stage. That's why I'm always there. Mm, mm, mm. And is that what, what are you thinking right now? How are you feeling? Uh, I'm just blessed and highly favored as a Clark sisters be <laughs> saying. Come on. Like, I'm, I'm grateful to have the support system that I have. Yes. Um, especially in moments like this where it can be very life changing. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I'm glad that you're here, man. I'm always here. How beautiful of a moment is this? I, see, what I love is, at least for me growing up, is seeing people, my family and loved ones come together through what I do. So I, I can imagine that's how you feel when you sing. You brought your beautiful mother out and we're creating amazing memories. And I heard that you, your, your family hasn't had a chance to see you perform all together. Yeah, no, no. Haven't. Wow, would that be a dream to it be would. able to achieve? It, it would. would, yeah. Oh my God, well. I would love to see that happen as well. See, you still emotional. I want you to have your mama. Oh, no, yeah. I'm getting it. I'm Take mama in, baby. right? Yeah. I mm -hmm. love you, girl. I love you too, mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you, this is so beautiful. You took that in. I did. Because I, I got more of the family here, and I just want them to come on out, family! It's a really big couch for me, <laughs> just for me. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, my God. I Grandmother, how, how are you feeling right now, son? Oh, Lord, it's a miracle. Oh, God. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Are you proud of your grand grandbabies? Because oh, I see London over there, too. My heart is full, full of joy. It's full of joy. She the one. She the one had me singing in grocery stores and at the gas station. Oh yeah. She said it. Don't, and she said it didn't matter how small the stage was or how big it was. You always have, you know, you can always bless somebody no matter where you. You at. better speak. Yes. So, <laughs> yes. Amen. I think that same way. You Amen. know what I mean. Yeah. So keep that attitude. And then you, when you grow up in a church singing, yeah. you get to learn how to sing from a yes. special place and with purpose. And it is a gift, and mm -hmm. you are to share it with the world. So we're glad to have you here to share your gift with us and have your beautiful family as well. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, I'm excited about this. Welcome back, y'all. Y'all gotta hear this letter that I got. Here it goes. Dear Jennifer, I have a secret. I've never learned how to ride a bike. At 44 years old, I still want to learn. Can you teach me? Love, Alicia. I, I hope I can help you out, Alicia. Well, Alicia, it's a good thing. I got my sneakers on today, girl. Come on out here, baby, come on out. See what we can do. I love you back. Stand over here, Alicia. Let me look at you real good. Okay, how are you feeling? I don't know how I'm feeling. You look at, are you scared of the bike? Look, look how fun the bikes oh look. Oh my gosh. They look easy. They look scary. They look scary? Yeah. What is scary about them? Okay. Riding them. A ride in it? Yeah. But riding a bike is like the funnest thing ever. So yeah. I, I think it's about having confidence. Yeah. And finding your comfort. 
in your own balance, she is like, no. No, okay. No, no. So, my so kids can ride. Your kids can ride. I can't ride. Can we try? We can try. We gonna try. That's all we gotta yes. do today is try, Alicia. And we gonna take our time doing this. Now, you know the purple bike is mine, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, you okay. So we need helmets. Okay. Oh and guess what? This is gonna protect you. Oh, Let's get our helmets first. So the helmet is gonna protect you. Okay. And then you got knee pads if you need them. What would make you feel most okay. comfortable? Okay. Everything. You see? Okay, everything. She said everything. The full body suit. The full body suit. <laughs> I love you for that. Oh my God. Oh, so we got our helmets. We got your knee pads. You got your training wheels. Huh? You can't, it, you can't fall. You too tall to fall. Think about uh. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's your steering wheel, the handlebars. Then if somebody get in your way. <laughs> coming through. Hey. So how are you feeling right now? A little nervous. But I'm gonna I'm do it, I'm gonna try, because if my kids can do it, I wanna show them I can do it too. Right, and then, you know what, be the reward is because then you'll be able to ride with your kids. I know, yes. and that's what I wanna do. I watch them and I'm like, have fun. Yes, you sit on the porch and watch yeah. them go on by. <laughs> See, that's one of my favorite yes. things to do with my son is yes. bike ride. I can't remember when he learned, so you are gonna figure out how you get on your own bike, okay? okay. That's the first step. I'm gonna hop on my. Oh, there you go. You get that bell. Yes, ma'am. Now, you, you you sitting on it? I'm on it. All right. You got your kickstand up? Uh, yes, sir. Now, do you feel comfortable with pedaling? I don't feel comfortable with pedaling. Okay. Well, then you just gonna walk it. Okay. I can like walk. Like this. It. You do that, and then steer it. Come on this way. Let it. Like that. Okay. I think I'm doing it. Now you 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 got it. Now remember you got your training wheels. Now if you put your if you glide yourself a little bit and put your foot on that brake, can you give me like that? What Not about that? Defer. But look, you got one side up and one side down. We just gonna glide. Okay, you glide. You do what you go at your pace. I'm gonna glide. That's right. All and right. blow that horn. Woo! I'm doing it. <laughs> you doing it? Woo! There you go. All right, y'all, I'm doing can, it. Can you get a little speed, Alicia? You about to run me over, girl. Yeah. You did it. That's good. Keep going, keep going. Look, look, watch me. Look, I'm gonna do this. And we ain't even got a pedal. We coasting. Okay, I gave it a little push, but look. You could just, girl, you could glide like this. Hold on, both hands though. I'm behind you. You got I'm it. Me. Give me another glide. Raise up them feet and, yep, there you go, Woo. there you go. Put the foot up there, push it, there you go. Uh. Now put the other one on top of the other. There you go, you did it! She did it, Jack! You did it! Oh my God! That's what we do, baby! We did it, You got this! Yeah. You got this! Woo. You got it! Yeah. Oh my God! Okay, you gotta keep practicing, but I wanna give you this bike. So you can keep practicing, okay? What? You promise me you're gonna keep trying. I then we can bike ride together, God. Alicia. Yes. This is for you, all right? Oh my God! Yes! Oh my goodness! I'm so proud Thank of you. you so much. Alicia got this. Oh my goodness. Keep practicing. Y'all, she gonna do great things on this bike. And you get to eat your apple. And you get to drink out your Jennifer Hudson cup because we're doing great things. Stick around. We'll be right back.